chaos is such a misunderstood word. You see, for many people, chaos means disorder. Curiously, chaos as studied in modern science, and many people speak of the new science of chaos, chaos is a type of order. It's a type of unstable order in which the temporal sequences are very complex. You see, our classical idea was that molecules are colliding at random, you know, like dust particles. How would they then produce a coherence? And now we see that non-equilibrium can produce coherence, can produce structures, can produce very complex patterns, and which permit us to see, to understand, I would say, uh, much better the type of structures which we see in the world around us. You need more anarchy in your terms, you see. You need more various activities, more multiple views. The metaphor of the view of the world which we have today is art. Is art in the sense that it is something which contains both laws and events. Like we see now in nonlinear systems, we come to breaking points, we have po new possibilities. Before we come to the breaking points, it's more or less deterministic. When we are at the breaking points, we have many choices. We see a lot of connections. We see some many unexpected things in this universe. And th therefore, the best analogy, the best symbol would be a work of art, for example, a piece of music. Because if you take a piece of music, let's say some, some work of Bach, there are very strict rules. But at the same time, there's always something unpredictable. Even if you have heard the, the elements of the, um, of the melody of the fugue, you are not expecting the modulations. There's always something new coming in. It is very much like a symbol of the unstable world in which we are. There are laws, of course, but there are instabilities, bifurcations. Music or sculpture is also a symbol of this time because it is, after all, a time-oriented art. Music, that's obvious. That's <coughs> an organization, organization of the time. But even sculpture, let's not forget that the beginning, probably the origin of sculpture, is to a large extent a funerary sculpture. It is to give, to speak about after li life after death. It is to speak about ancestors, about our relation with the gods. In a sense, you can say that sculpture is made of stone into which we incorporate a temporal signal. It is essentially like we would put time into matter. And I think this is something quite uh, general. In fact, non-equilibrium chemistry, production of biomolecules, that's exactly that. It, in a sense, it is temporalization of matter. Science should not lead to alienation. Science should emphasize our embedding in nature. And that is, I think, the direction in which it's going.